Hello and welcome to Marshalls TV, where in this series of videos, we're gonna be taking a look at exactly what's going on underneath your driveway or patio project. And don't forget, if you have any questions that pop into your head while you're watching and listening, you can always type them into the comments box below. So Trev, good to see you once again. What are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about a flexible driveway installation. Right, flexibly installed, what on earth does that mean? <laughs> well, flexible means that it's a specific type of sub base. Okay. And in this case, being flexible, there's no cement or mortar that's introduced into this installation. Before you get started, you need to make sure that a flexibly laid driveway is right for your chosen product. And you can do this by checking the Marshalls website or indeed in our brochure. But of course, if you're anyway unsure, you can always get the work carried out by an accredited Marshalls installer. So Trev, what's the first thing we need to do before we get started, whether I'm doing it or somebody else is doing it? First thing we do is dig out approximately 240 millimeters. Right. And if ground conditions dictate a little bit more. And the next thing we do, is where's the water going? We need to make sure we know what's happening there. Yeah. Also, damp proof course. We need to make sure that is 150 mil above your finished paving level. Great, all right, so we've sorted out a runoff, thought about the damp proof course. Um, what about now edge restraints? Is this a system that needs edge restraints? It does, we need to incorporate these and it's at this stage that we install them. We put them on a concrete footing, yeah. install your edge restraints, that's what secures the whole drive and Brilliant. keeps it framed and secure. Gotcha. So once our edge restraints are in Trev, presumably it's now we're thinking about what's going on underneath. We've got to put some foundations down. That's right. That's when we introduce our hardcore, which is an MOT type one. Right. And that's 150 millimeters minimum. Right. And we do that by way of introducing 75 mil layer. We compact that and we introduce another 75 mil and compact that. That gives us a solid grounding on which our laying course to sit. So once we've got these two layers of that MOT Type 1 compacted and laid, Trev, we're almost ready for our top layer, are we? We are. Uh, this is where we introduce our sharp sand. Now we want 30 to 40 millimetres, yep. and we compact that, right. and then we screed it off to give a nice finished surface for on which our blocks to sit. And that is our finished surface, the blocks, the product on top. We're all done there, are we? Not quite. Okay. What we need to do now is introduce some kiln-dried sand, right. which falls in between the, uh, the joints, and that makes everything solid. Brilliant. And we vibrate that with a whacker plate again, yeah. and then it's job done. And there you go, and then you'll have a driveway or a patio that looks as good as this one. You Fair. certainly will. Thanks ever so much. So don't forget, that was just a brief overview. If you want a full in-depth guide on how to install your flexibly laid driveway or patio, then we've got a video online for that as well. But if you'd rather somebody else carries out the work for you, just check the website to find an accredited Marshalls installer in your area. And as always, don't forget, subscribe to the channel Marshalls TV to find out all of the information across all of the driveways and patios that we do. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.